What's up, Triple Lexus? Back again with another legendary video. All right, today I'm going to show you how to configure your Legends Ultimate Arcade Machine with the Arcade One Hyperspin PC right there. Okay, first things first, you need to power up your Legends Ultimate Arcade Machine. After that's booted up, then start your Hyperspin PC right there. Once you got both of those guys going, this is what you're going to do. You're going to come here. You're going to go over to settings. You're going to select OTG mode. Select it. And you're going to get a three second countdown. After the countdown, it's going to let you know that it's now enabled and you're connected. And and the only way to disable this is you're going to have to remove the USB cable there when you're ready to quit the OTG USB mode. So now that it's configured for USB mode, what you need to do is this. Switch the input. I have the PC connected to HDMI 1 as this has H two HDMI inputs on this uh, particular machine. So... All right. Now, what you need to do from here is you need to go into the front end of the system. Now, to go there, you need to go up to the toolkit in the hyperspin system. Right there. Select toolkit. You need to go to exit to windows. This is will take you straight to the front end. All right. Now you're at the front end. So what you need to do here is simple. You need to go to windows, search, and then you can select you're gonna need also you're gonna need a mouse and keyboard for this too. So make sure you get a mouse and keyboard for your hyperspin system PC, of course. So from there, you can just type in devices and printers. Okay. Here, you will see the Legends Ultimate is already recognized here, and it shows the mouse, and it's named Legends Ultimate. Now, how that primarily works is this. What you're going to have to do is the first time you connect this system to this particular um, unit, and you connect the uh, PC to the Legends Ultimate, you're gonna have to select it, and you'll probably see like an exclamation point next to uh, Legends Ultimate. You have to right click it, uh, and from there, you can choose repair, and once you choose repair, it should recognize Legends Ultimate uh, PC at that point. Once you got that recognized, you can come back to search, and type in game controllers and you'll notice something that says setup USB game controllers right here now from here what you'll notice is you have three options um, controller which is I'm using an Xbox one controller and you're using and you're also going to know HID gadget which is the control panel one player and control panel two player. Now, from there, what you're gonna need to do is select both of those, and then you're gonna need to go to properties, like that. Now, from here, when you get the properties, what you'll notice is you can actually do a test now to find out if the buttons and controllers are configured. So you can go here, 
and you can start to test and you can see you can see the buttons are registering and you can notice from the point of view hat that that the joystick is recognizing too via the test so at that point you're pretty much configured you want to check that for both controllers though so essentially you can close this out and select controller 2 go to properties and make sure the same thing is happening all of the buttons are functioning All right, guys, that's pretty much how you configure the Legends Ultimate with the Hyperspin PC. After that, you're pretty much good to go. So from there, you can just restart Hyperspin and then you can just have at it. All right, guys, I hope this has been helpful. Till next time, Triple X out.